days must have got lost. No one would come here if they knew what they were doing. That's for sure. Excuse me. We got a sick person in the coach. Could you tell me where I could find a doctor? <laughs> we're looking for one, too. The man that used to be here moved away. You mean there isn't one anywhere around? Twenty miles from here, over the border. If you get there alive. <laughs> what a shame, huh? The man says another twenty miles till we find a doctor, Lola. Uh, uh, we better stop right here in that case. Virginia would never make it. Afternoon, miss. Excuse me, but we're looking for a hotel. That's mine, miss. Right across the street. No, I'm sorry. There are no rooms left. They're all full. Come on, Joe. Come on. We don't need your kind around here, miss. We have enough of our own troubles. But Virginia's very sick. What? Why, every single one of you is sick, leading the evil life you do. What's going to happen to Virginia? So stay. But be sure you leave by tomorrow. Come along, lady. <laughs> I can put you up, miss. The name's Hunter. This is my place. A few years ago, it was well known hereabouts. But things aren't as lively as they once were. Never seem to get any entertainment. How much are your room? Oh, nothing. Not a cent. If your troop will put on a show for us tonight. All right. But we need a doctor. Could you send someone over to get him? Well, miss. No one has had a Hannah. No one has had a Hannah for quite a long time now. But you know, there is someone here in town who knows all kinds of that medicine stuff. Well, is he a doctor? He's studying to be a doctor, and he's been going to medical school. Will you go and get him for us? Sure, I can run fast. Well, what are we doing, Lola? We're stopping. Oh, good. All right, let's go up. Nice big room on the second floor. We're here for a while. Oh, come on, we're getting out now. Go slow, Tina, and be nice. <laughs> Get me a glass of water. Please. That's enough for now. Don't give her a drop to drink, please. But her lips only. It's an easy diagnosis, malaria. Pretty bad case of it. She'll be bedridden for a while. I'll be back soon. Thank you, doctor. I'm not a doctor. I guess one day I'll be one. Please call me Rod. Rod, this time, there's something strange about it. You'll find out pretty soon. Hey, Rod, how is she? Did he kill her or not? <laughs> I wouldn't worry too much about her. She'll be all right. I think it's about time you got on home, huh? Go ahead. Go on. Rod. Rose, what are you doing in town this time of day? I would never have guessed it. And I was wrong. Yeah? Well, that you ran off like a flash to pay a visit to one of those showgirls. The one in there. You know who I mean. But a doctor has patience, Rose, and it doesn't matter what their profession is or what their sex is. But you're not an MD yet. Why did you visit her? You don't have to remind me, Rose. I know I'm not. You know better than anyone why. My father has always wanted to help you, and you wouldn't hear of it. I'm a mean man just because of that? Because of that? Because you haven't kissed me once. Ah, Rod's with you. How many times have I told you, Rose, that I don't want you going into town by yourself? Do you think a governess would have helped me against El Diablo? Maybe not, but it's foolish taking any sort of chance with that bandit around here. Agree? Your father's right, Rose. 
Really? Well, for your information, I went into town to pick up Rod, and guess what it was? I... Never mind. Let's have something about it. You're staying with us. Man. Thank you, sir. I'd like to. Rod was perfectly right. Doctors must take care of anyone who needs care. That is, from a clinical point of view. You're really trying to get me mad, aren't you? I think you got together beforehand, and I don't like it. Sweet, isn't she? Same way as her mother. You know what? If I were you, my boy, I'll think it over at least twice. Yes, sir. Oh, how much did you hand over to El Diablo last month? Not much, about 20000 He wanted a lot more, but we talked and managed to convince him to settle for a part. That means new victims. Unless they pay the rest, Santa Ana's in trouble again. Gentlemen and others, I'm happy this evening to see you a great artist. Our favorite, Lola Gay. performances unless I hear the word please. No, Paco. Will you kindly sing for us? Please? All right. Yeah. 
My thanks to you. Diablo. It's a man, you're very wrong. He's a bloodthirsty savage. And we're in the palm of his hand because he keeps certain hostages up at his ranch. If one of us in town tried to make a move, he'd kill them all, every one. I hope you understand now. And your family? No. But they, too, have been bled dry by El Diablo and the tribute he makes everyone pay. That's why I was never able to get on with my studies. He's got men there, young girls, babies. But haven't you ever tried... To free all those men. You could get El Diablo away. When he moves, he leaves guards. Quite a few of them, too. Get El Diablo away, attack the ranch, and destroy his gang of outlaws. No. We've all thought of it, Lola. But it can't be done. El Diablo's got the strong hand and he's playing it. We have to wait. About five months back, we tried to rebel a little. It wound up a disaster. It was after that that El Diablo took all the hostages away. Bye, Lola. Miss Lola. What do you want? My boss would like to meet you. He'd invite you to his ranch. And if I decide not to accept? <laughs> the others would come up and persuade you. Lola. Don't worry, I'll come back soon. Has Rod come yet? No, not yet. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> Lola, I'm going with you. No. You weren't invited. I'm not mad, you know that. I have some information of a certain young lady, but she was just seen on her way to El Diablo's ranch. Kidnapped? No, mio caro. La signorina Lola vi free as you please on her own horse. And there are quite a few witnesses to that. And that's what you came to tell me. What about you? What do you have to tell me? Only that Virginia Blake is the one I'm taking care of. Not the immortal soul of Miss Lola Gay. Rod! Rod, I... you could accept my invitation. I welcome you here under my real name, Larry Stern. Larry Stern? That surprise you, Miss Lola? It's true in Santa Ana. I'm pretty well known as El Diablo. But just look at me. Now, do I look to you like the devil? You know, the devil appears in a different form to all of us. <laughs> Listen, Lola, it's not at all true what they say about me. Look how many people I give work to. You mean the hostages of Santa Ana? Hostage is a pretty big word. Well, then, for instance, they can leave whenever they please. When I want them to, yes. Come in. Sit down. I imagine, Lola, that you're wondering what it is that I did to make people call me El Diablo. At one time, I had great plans for Santa Ana. What plans? Or a railway, for example, going all the way to the border. But nobody wanted to sell me any of his land. So I was forced to appropriate it. And what would you have given in exchange for the people's land? You didn't hear. A railroad. Of which you would be the owner and boss, right? That sounds like a pretty rotten deal. I mean for Santa Ana. <laughs> <laughs> You're a smart girl, Lola. Perfect for me. I have a deal I'd like to make. If it's one like the railroad, I'm not interested. <laughs> Perché non vi trattenete nel ranch come mia ospite per qualche giorno? Anche se volessi non potrei. Non posso lasciare la compagnia. Ho il mio lavoro io. Quando voglio una cosa io me la prendo. <laughs> non è il sistema migliore per conquistare qualcosa. You know what could happen to you, Lola. Stay with me. This is all for us. 
I'll make you rich. I'm not for sale. You know, don't you? I could have you killed. You're the strongest. If you want, you can hold me prisoner like the others. But if you really treat me nice, you'll get a lot more. I want you. My way or yours. As long as I get you. Let's give it a little time. Why don't you come to the saloon and see me? I'll dance just for you. Ah, how do I know you'll be there? You're the boss. If I should run away, you'd sure know where to find me. We'll drink to that. talk to you? Is it about Virginia? Has her fever gone down? I don't know if it has or not. I didn't come here to talk about her. Well, what else could we have to talk about, Lola? You sound angry. Have I done something to you? Oh, I mean, yet. I mean, you did something to yourself. You heard I went to see El Diablo. Is that what it is? I just heard that you went up there of your own free will. Nothing else. But I didn't, Ron. The truth is, I was taken away by half his gang. Is that my own free will? El Diablo's not the type to let anyone leave his ranch once he's there. And you got away. And that's enough to condemn me. I've met so many beasts like this El Diablo. They're any place. Even in my home when I was only five years old, I'll always remember. just like El Diablo. He killed my whole family. I'm the only one left. You have to fight to protect whatever you want. That's why I left with Paco. I'm sorry, Lola. I had to see all his guards and where the prisoners are kept. Plus, the road to the ranch. And most important... What's that? I persuaded El Diablo to come to the saloon with his men. I just keep him occupied while you... You want them to murder all the hostages? Please, let me finish. What you could do is take him prisoner, then exchange El Diablo for the hostages. Then El Diablo, the very next day after he was freed, he'd come back to Santa Ana and destroy it. No, it's a crazy idea. Nobody here would buy it. How... What, what kind of men are in this town? Come with me. You'll see for yourself. Ah, 
those are the men who were born in Santa Ana. All of them died as very young men. There's a boy out there. His name is Bro. My brother. I've started thinking. Maybe he's the lucky one. I don't want to see anymore. That's the whole setup, gentlemen, in a nutshell. This is the moment we've been waiting for. If Rogers could bring in all his ranch hands, we'd have an army. Wait a minute, Rod. This plan will work. Anyway, up till now, El Diablo's left me alone. I pay him what he asks. But it seems to me we could all be murdered this way. It'd be a foolish risk for nothing. Well, I think Rogers is perfectly right. El Diablo knows whatever's going on. You'll be pretty sure he's safe before he comes to the saloon. If we attack him, it means giving up all the townspeople he's got there. No. Count me out. Well, then, I guess there's nothing more to say. Sorry to have made you waste so much time. So long. What's the matter with Rod today? Never seen him like that before. We wouldn't get halfway there without the U.S. cavalry. El Diablo's got too much strength. Of course, it'd be stupid. I see it now. What? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking. Rod! Hey, Rod! Don't be so all fired hasty. Now listen here. I don't know what you've been figuring in that head of yours, but you seem pretty sure of yourself. I don't trust the rest of them, so that means it's just me and you. So I'll see you at the saloon tonight with all of my men. We'll give El Diablo an evening he'll never forget. And then, well, we'll just have to wait and see. Well, I guess I misjudged you. I'm sorry. See you tonight. So long. You look marvelous. Sono in forma stasera. Poco fa ho parlato con Rod. It's some very good news. What news? I can't tell anyone. Honestly, I told Rod that I wouldn't. Not even us? Virginia. It's wonderful to hear your voice. I'm feeling so much better now. I feel divine. I'll sing tonight like I never sang before. All right? Let's start the show. Voglio incantarle tutti. What's the matter, Lola? Why did you stop dancing? Because I won't perform for such a small group. I like the seats filled. Tell me, where are your other men? I'm afraid the house won't be any bigger than this. All my men are on duty. They've got to keep their eyes peeled tonight. I gave us not to move. But I thought... That I didn't catch on? 
My dear, you've underestimated me. Chi ti ha dato il permesso di entrare? Se non foste armato, non fareste tanto il gradasso. Soddisfatto? E i vostri angeli custodi? Resteranno immobili come stanno. Fun's over, Rock, but only for tonight. You can be sure we'll meet again. Whenever you say. out here at this hour, Pablito. I was going to warn you. Mr. Rogers, you're supposed to stop. What do you mean? What happened? Rod told me to look for you and tell you. Turn back. You're not supposed to go to Santa Ana because El Diablo's gone. All right, thanks. Now get back home. We turn back. Come on! Keeps on, pretty soon I'll be unemployed, I guess. Well, in that case, I just have to pretend. <laughs> Not with me. You pretended with Lola and all the others. Virginia, how long were you walking around with all that fever and pain? Two weeks, I suppose. I didn't want to hurt the performance. You silly fool. You should have told us right away, you know. Tomorrow. Thanks, Rod. Bye. Those bandits are finally gone, thank goodness. Don't worry about it, Helen. You'll be able to go soon, too. I promise you. You know, Lola used to be happy before... I know, Helen. But unfortunately, things don't always go the way they should, do they?
not doing us any good. The truth is, we got too excited by what we were doing, and we underestimated El Diablo. Mr. Rogers, there's a bandit with the name he deserves. Listen to me, son. Our only hope now is in the governor. As a matter of fact, I received a message this morning from the capital. He's sending us some troops, and they should be here within two weeks at the most. Soldiers? If El Diablo hears about this, he'll massacre all of us before they can even get here. Yeah, it's afraid so, my boy. Well, I better get out of here fast. Here comes the lady, El Diablo. Rose, please. Treat him gently. He's my future son-in-law. What is it, Rose? Let's talk for a minute, Rod. The whole town's laughing at me. Fighting that way for a cheap dancing girl. It's not the way it was. I was fighting for myself. But who gave you the spunk to fight El Diablo? Why don't you admit it? She did. I think it's better for a woman to encourage a man instead of holding him back. Then I have one thing to ask you. What do you intend doing about our marriage? Not rush. That's all. Why don't you tell me what happened? No, of course not. Only we'd better wait a while. Rod Strader, I can read you like an open book. I'll see you home. No, thanks just the same. Well, take some time and think it over, but not too long. I'm not going to wait around forever.
Come on, hurry. Water. We came because Rose said she heard some shooting. You're a lucky fella, Ray. È stato il diavolo. Paco e altri due li ho uccisi. Sono giù al passo della morte. Bisogna seppellirli subito per impedire che il diavolo venga a saperlo. Voi tre svelti. Remember, don't leave any traces and come back as soon as you're finished. Rod, I'm so sorry. This is neither the time nor the place. Let's get moving. Come on. Yes, we better. Well, we found two. Let's go look for the other one. All the prisoners together. Looks like they're going to try something in Santa Ana. They'll see what it means when all the old is angry. Come on. Stay with us for a little while, please. It'll do you so much good. I'll get you in big trouble, Rose. It's the first place he's going to look for me. Paco was second man. He's going to be real angry. I miei uomini non sono tornati. Deve essere successo qualcosa. Ho mandato Peter a cercarli. Ma cosa può essergli capitato? Devo andare via da qui. All'istante non faccio che compromettervi. No, no, Rod.
seem to be going to Rod's house. Whatever it is that's happened, it's something terrible. What a monster. What made us come to this place? I just can't help it. I've got to go and... you do? He won't listen. He's not a man. He's a beast. But what does he want from Santa Anna? I'm looking for your son. I don't know where he is, really. Where is he hidden? Come on, talk. I don't know where he is, I swear. You don't, eh? Well, in that case, I'll just have to refresh your memory. Go on, climb up. Oh, please! Where's your son, old man? I don't know. I don't know. Go on. They were Roger's men. Roger, so he's trying to make things rough too, eh? I suppose we'll just have to pay him a visit. The rest of you, don't worry, I'll be back soon. I haven't finished with you yet. Come on. defend your homes and defend your families. This little boy had the courage to do what none of you dared do. He gave every man here a lesson in courage. You're not worthy of calling yourselves men. You are all cowards. You've got a job to protect your family. And here this little boy lost his life. How much is it worth? El Diablo will be back soon, but I know his hideout. We'll take him by surprise. And the person... That's just what I'm talking about. Maybe they're waiting for you and wondering why the people of Santa Ana have abandoned them. I'm going to free them. Lola's right. Let's do this once and for all. We're all with you, Lola. Let's get our guns and ammunition and free the hostages. That's right, hey. folks. We've already waited long enough. Yeah, it let's go. Done. Come on. Now, come on. Seems to have gone crazy. 
He'll destroy Santa Ana if I don't hand myself over to him now. Don't be stupid. Rod will hide you out here. This is where he's coming. And Miss Lola's gotten all the men together, and they're on their way to Diablo's ranch to free the prisoners. I'll go help her. You hold them off here as long as you can. All right, leave it to us. We'll take care of him. Be waiting for you.
Raider. I'm afraid this is it for you. You're not getting away this time. I'm very sorry, Raider. I don't agree. together and burn together. Carry me home, swing low, sweet 
come yet. I want to say thanks. From now on, friends, tomorrow is a good day for Santa Ana. Actually, every day is a good day. It's a miracle you made for yourselves since you found yourselves again. Well, that's yeah. all I want to say. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Lola, I'd like to offer my apologies. I've learned one thing from all this. No one has the right to judge anyone else. My thanks. Everybody. Now, if you'll just wait, we have a little surprise for you. Slim? Of course. One minute. I can't get it open. Get your coat, Lola. Oh. <laughs> Of Larry Stern, or El Diablo. It's from his robbery. But in my opinion, it should all belong to you. One part of it should rightfully go to the Padre to rebuild his church. I wonder if there isn't still a way. You know what I mean, I think. A way for us to understand. I'm sure it can... I'm sorry, what were you saying? Stay here with us, Lola! I want to thank you, friends, but... But... You've all been so kind. Tomorrow, I have to go away. I have to go on with my work, and so do the other girls. You heard that, didn't you? She's leaving. If we... We could begin a new life tomorrow. We could even move to another place. To Los Angeles. You could go on studying medicine. Oh, it sounds like a dream, Rod.
Goodbye. Goodbye, Thank Lola. You. Goodbye. Oh, you Goodbye, Lola. Lola, dear. Goodbye and good luck, Lola. Goodbye, Miss Jenny. Thank you. Goodbye. I wanted to apologize to you, Lola. Why should you? Because I'm the only one here who hasn't apologized to you yet. Ci hanno fermato, Lola. 